Today I'm going to show you how to prep your land in order to get ready to plant your blackberries. Now the reason why we till up a nice row in order to plant our blackberry bushes is in order to create an environment so your blackberry bushes can actually start multiplying and filling in the gaps. You can see several of these blackberry bushes are nice and tall and they are just our new growth. But what happens is, is over time, if you have a nice productive environment for your blackberry bushes to thrive, they'll start popping up and multiplying on their own. And that's exactly what you want when you create a nice row. And if you wanna plant multiple rows of blackberry bushes, I highly suggest you make sure you space your blackberry bushes out pretty far apart, at least 10 feet, because over time, they're gonna start trying to grow in together. So now that you understand why we tilled up our land for our blackberry bushes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna evenly space out our blackberry bushes and get ready to plant them. Planting blackberries is actually the easiest thing to do because all you need to do is just dig a big enough hole in order to just sit your plant in it. Now what we've done is we've dug a hole and we made sure that it's big enough for our pot to fit in it so we know it's the perfect size. So before we plant our blackberry bush, what we always do is we always add blood meal and this makes sure your plant gets started off right way. And you won't notice anything right away. It'll take about two weeks and all of a sudden your plant will start drastically growing. So what we're gonna do is take this blackberry bush and we're gonna let the roots sit directly on that blood meal and that way it gets started off pretty fast. And then we're gonna start backfilling it in. And we do this for every plant. So in order for us to finish giving our blackberry bushes an environment in order to multiply and produce more berries for us later on in the future, we need to go ahead and add some mulch around all the berries and it doesn't matter what type of mulch you use. So over time, this mulch is gonna start breaking down and provide our plants with the nutrients it needs in order to start growing. And in a mulch bed, your blackberry bushes will attach to this mulch and start tip rooting it sometimes. And that's how you get the gaps to fill in between. So after you get your blackberry bushes planted, I bet you're wondering when is the best time to water your blackberry bushes. And the answer is, is after you put your mulch down. Because otherwise, you risk watering these things and the water just running off. Whereas if you wait until the mulch is down on the ground, the water will get trapped and then your blackberry bushes will start growing into heat perfectly fine with no issues. So as soon as you can, what you want to do is attach your blackberries to your trellis system. And you can do that with bread ties or plastic ties. Anything you can use, string, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you get it attached to this, that way it doesn't die. And the wind is what I'm telling you can damage your plant. This one right here was affected by the wind. It wasn't supported or attached to this. So as a result, the wind got a hold of it and now it doesn't look like it's gonna make it. And all you're trying to do is actually space your two T-posts about a foot from each other that way, your blackberry bushes are more contained inside the trellis system. So what we use is clothesline wire, and we also can use horse fencing wire, but any thick wire will work. So in order to set up your trellis line system, you'll want to have one kind of low, and then one right in the middle, and then maybe one more at the top. So just like that, you've got your whole setup for your new blackberry rows, and I hope this video helped you out a ton. If so, smash that like button and subscribe. This is where gardening and family values come together. We are Salty Acres, an edible plant business that teaches you many different ways to grow your own food and also offer an assortment of rare fruit-bearing plants. 
So if you're one of those people who think you can't grow anything because you don't have a green thumb or don't have a space to grow your own food, then we are here to help you. Once you click subscribe and then decide to take a leap of faith by purchasing our plants, you will always be part of our family. We are here to hold your hand along the way of your gardening journey and are so thankful you found us.